When we have our pets, we give them all the loving care that we can possibly give. And in return, we expect them to give back the same. Or just be all cuddly. Some pets, however, are simply ungrateful. These pets didn't just bite the hand that fed them, as some of them literally ripped off and ate it. Here are 10 animal pets that attack their owners. Number 10. Face-eating ferrets. Ferrets are slowly becoming popular pets. That is, despite ferrets not technically being domesticated yet. But due to their cuteness, people are willing to take the risk of letting a wild animal into their homes. Either that or they just don't know any better, which is probably the case with this Pennsylvania family. It is unclear how the family got a hold of the ferrets, but they had three of them. Apparently, it is legal to keep ferrets as pets in the state of Pennsylvania. What was even clearer, though, is the fact that the cute, fuzzy animals weren't as tame as the family thought them to be. For reasons that will become clear in a bit, I'll be keeping the names of the people involved a secret. This horrific story started one day when a mother left her one-month-old baby in the living room while she went upstairs to use the bathroom. During her absence, two of the ferrets somehow managed to escape from their cage and proceed to gnaw at the poor baby's face. When the baby was discovered, 25% of her face had already been eaten. She was immediately rushed to the hospital, and fortunately she did make a full recovery. Although the scars she got from that horrible day will never fade. I'm also going to assume the ferrets were either put down or sent away. Number 9. Humphrey the Hippo Marius Els, 41, an army major who lived on a farm along the Val River in South Africa, adopted a five-month-old orphaned hippo. Humphrey, the name given to the hippo, was rescued as a calf during a flood on the river, and given to Els after he grew too big for the people who had initially adopted him. Early on, Els was warned by a lot of people that hippos are wild, aggressive animals, but he would have none of it, even going as far as saying that Humphrey was like a son to him. For a few years, that statement could actually hold ground. Els could even be seen swimming with his 2,465-pound son. Els even rode him like a horse sometimes. Humphrey was already exhibiting aggressive behavior early on, though. Humphrey was actually blamed for attacking and killing calves belonging to Elle's partner. The animal also broke out of its dam enclosure and chased golfers at a nearby club. He showed his aggression in full force when he suddenly attacked Elle's while both of them were in Humphrey's enclosure. The attack was completely unprovoked, and unfortunately the attack did lead to Elle's untimely death. Number 8. Mauled by Wolf Dogs in my opinion, dogs are the perfect pets. They're probably the only domesticated animal that reciprocates tenfold the love being given to them, depending on how you raise them. The same can't be said for wolf dogs. Wolf dogs are the result of the interbreeding between dogs and wolves, and although they do have dog in their DNA, it seems that they inherited the viciousness of their wolf parents instead. Sandra L. Piavason had raised a pack of nine wolf dogs by herself and was extremely devoted to them, saying that they gave her unqualified love. As it turns out, that love went sour when she failed to show up for a meeting with her daughter. Her estranged husband went to look for her, only to find that her body was inside the cage of her wolf dogs, partially eaten. She had bled to death after being clawed and bitten, and later being dragged to the enclosure by her half-wolf, half-dog hybrid pets. Number 7. Killed by a Bull Ricky Weinhold loved animals. He loved cattle in particular, and he loved them so much that he had ten heads of them. And since he didn't actually own a farm to keep all of his massive pets, he actually leased a farm. I mean, how devoted could someone be to their pets? Most of the cattle were non-problematic. Keyword there is most. One particular bull was particularly hard to handle, and calling it temperamental would have been an understatement. This particular bull had such a bad attitude, the property owners to whom Ricky was leasing the farm from actually advised him to get rid of the bull. Ricky didn't listen, obviously, even after the bull rammed him and broke a few of his ribs. This event should have warned him of the unfortunate events that were about to happen. A day before his 53rd birthday, the bull savagely attacked Ricky. No one saw what happened, so no one can be certain what triggered the attack. The bull had just recently fathered a calf prior to the attack, but bulls aren't really known to be protective of their kids, so he's probably just being a jerk. Ricky's lifeless body was found by the farm owner's son the following day. Number 6. Deadly Birthday Present when Pam Weaver turned 60, her husband thought that he would give her a gift that she would never forget, a pet camel. He was only a few months old when Pam got it, and early on it was already exhibiting erratic, or in this case, erotic behavior. The camel could often be seen trying to mate with other animals, even trying to straddle the family's pet goat. 
Then one day the Randy Camel set his sights on Pam and it tried to straddle her, knocking the poor woman to the ground. The 330 pound animal continued to try to straddle her, suffocating her in the process, which led to her unfortunate death. Number 5. Bit by Bettina. In 2004, German police were called by neighbors to check on a man named Mark Vogel's apartment. Apparently, his neighbors were complaining about a terrible stench that was coming from Vogel's apartment, and they knocked, and when they heard no answer, they broke into his apartment, only to find a horrible scene. Vogel was lying lifeless on his couch. He was covered with cobwebs, and there were even spiders coming in and out of his mouth, nose, and ears. Vogel was into very much exotic pets, and his pets included a few reptiles that roamed freely in his house, and of course, spiders. It's believed that one of his spiders caused his death. Police think that his pet black widow named Bettina bit him while he was handling her. Instead of seeking medical help like a normal man, he kind of just shrugged it off, and then the spider's venom did its nasty work. Police believe that Vogel had been dead for 14 days before they found him. 14 days with hungry reptiles for company. I'm pretty sure you can imagine what happened next. Let's just say that even in death, he didn't let his pets go hungry. Number 4. Mauled over a sweater. Are you one of those people who likes to dress up your pets? Well, let this story be a warning to you. A dog named Scarface sent two people to the hospital after its owner tried to put a sweater on him. Why anybody would want to put a sweater on a dog named Scarface, I don't know, but that's just what dog owner Brenda Guerrero of Tampa Bay, Florida did. Scarface, a pity mix, didn't appreciate the makeover. He immediately attacked Brenda right in front of her husband, Ismail. Of course, Ismail came to his wife's aid by trying to pull the angry pit bull off, but Scarface turned his attention to Ismail and started mauling him as well. If it weren't for their son who came to their aid, the injuries of the two would have been far more severe. As soon as the three escaped, they went straight to the hospital. Fortunately, their injuries were not life-threatening. Police were dispatched to the house to handle Scarface, and they found the dog there along with two children who are fortunately unhurt. Probably got taken away, though. Number 3. Gored by a Deer 67-year-old Benjamin Rushton was illegally keeping a red deer stag in a kennel in his backyard. This wasn't his first time taking in wild animals as pets. According to his neighbors, he's done this quite a few times with the goal of domesticating them. In fact, there were actually other types of deer in his backyard accompanying the stag. One day, for unknown reasons, the stag decided to attack Rushton. It used its large rack of horns to pin the man against the fence. When Rushton fell to the ground, the deer proceeded to trample all over him. An unidentified witness saw what happened and called the police. Authorities found it extremely difficult to retrieve the man due to the aggressive deer, and unfortunately, Russian never made it to the hospital alive. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is an attack by an animal that seems kind of like the least likely to cause us harm, being how closely related they are to humans. What animal am I talking about? Find out next with number two. Disfigured by a chimp. Sandra Harold from Stanford, Connecticut had a pet chimpanzee named Travis. She had raised Travis since he was young and treated him as if he was a member of the family. But out of the blue, Travis attacked Charla Nash, one of Sandra's friends, leaving her with a permanently disfigured face. The 200-pound chimp had no history of violence aside from one incident in 2003 when he escaped and stopped traffic in Stanford for hours. But when Charlotte visited one afternoon, Travis suddenly lashed out at her. The 14-year-old chimpanzee latched onto Nash's face and tore it apart. It might be hard to imagine that a chimpanzee, familiar from zoos, animal shows, and slapstick comedies like Cannonball Run, could be capable of the kind of savage violence inflicted on Nash. Travis himself was reportedly a beloved figure about Stanford. He was recognizable from television commercials, could bathe and dress himself, and even use a computer. But the truth is, chimps are still wild animals and are inherently unpredictable. They are insanely strong, stronger than the average man, and have been known to do acts of violence against other chimps out in the wild. Police further added that no matter how long a chimp lives with humans, they're a ticking time bomb of aggression. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1 eaten by his own pigs. A man from Oregon was actually eaten by the pigs he was raising in his farm. Now, it's not really known if the pigs were actually the cause of his death, but there is no doubt that he was eaten. Only his dentures and bits and pieces of him have ever been found. 
According to investigators, 69-year-old Terry Vance Garner went out one morning to feed his pigs one morning, but never came back. A family member found Garner's dentures and pieces of his body scattered throughout the hog enclosure, but most of his remains had already been consumed. It was possible that Garner had a medical emergency, such as a heart attack, or was knocked over by the animals before he was killed. According to the victim's brother, one of the sows bit Garner once the previous year when he accidentally stepped on a piglet. Aside from that, none of the other pigs showed any inclination to violence. In fact, Garner had taken care of the pigs since he finished his tour of duty in Vietnam. Domestic pigs aren't really known to be aggressive, but as this case shows, anything can happen around animals, even the ones who are well cared for. Have you ever been attacked by a pet? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.